I just wanted to introduce you to our newest little member here. This is Rigatoni. You can see he is quite rambunctious and cuter than cute. I absolutely love this little guy. He is um, a bunch of mischief. I'm going to let him go. Um, Pepperoni is sitting over here, but he's being shy. Hopefully I can get him. Um, I, I can't. I can't get him here. I wanted to let you guys know, um, I started feeding... There, there was a book years ago in Harvey Diamond's second book from Fit for Life called um, Living Health. And he had talked about Pottinger's cats, which was a, a study that had been done. They took two groups of cats and they fed them the same two foods. One group got milk and meat raw. The other group got milk and meat cooked. And it was amazing what happened with these two groups. The group that got the raw milk and meat thrived. They were healthy, they were happy, they looked great. The group that got the cooked got every single disease that humans get. They got gallbladder uh, stones, they got kidney stones, they got heart disease, they got cancer. By the third generation, that group of cats was sterile and they couldn't even reproduce. So that was really powerful to me and that got me thinking about, because you look at no other species in the wild cooks their food. They don't. Humans are the only ones that do that. So we need to eat our food raw as well. And so my cats, I have experimented with various raw diets over the years and I feed them raw fish, tilapia, and have done great. Uh, I noticed that my one cat though was having some um, issues with elimination. He was kind of getting a little constipated. So I had added in some cooked rice for some, um, some bulk, some fiber, and that, that eliminated that problem, pardon the pun, but what I noticed, in, and in my research of grains, one of the reasons I went from being a cooked vegan to being a raw vegan was I learned that, that grains are really high in minerals that are acidic that contribute to arthritis. Well, sure enough, about a week or so ago, I noticed that my cat, Pepperoni, who is 17 years old, actually was starting to have problems with his hind legs. He would collapse, it was hard for him to jump up, and I thought, no, I am just not ready for you to start having problems like this. So I um, decided, okay, what, what other kind of carb can I put in there to add some bulk? So I started um, in a food processor, I put the tilapia, and I put some raw carrots and some raw zucchini. And I w was a little concerned on whether or not that they would um, take to it because, you know, cats can be kind of finicky. They love it. I mean, I have to lock them up in different rooms and they literally inhale it. But the best part of the story, yay raw foods, my cat is back to normal, legs are working fine. I mean, if I could show you him, I, he's, he's beautiful. I'll probably try and get him into another video later. No, people who come over are like, there's no way that that cat is 17 years old. So with that said, raw foods are so incredibly healing. They are the foods that we are biologically designed to eat and they will do you good. You are not missing anything by eating raw foods, not at all. So raw foods work for animals, they work for humans. Take care.